Now, a friend of mine is going to New Zealand and he's asked me to put a range of dry flies together for him. And uh, basically he's trying to get, or try, I am trying to put some flies together that will give the impression of two or three patterns at the same time. So I'm going to combine the fly, the Griffiths knot, with a style, another style of fly called the Dyret, D-Y-R-E-T Caddis. Which is basically a caddis pattern with a deer hair tail and like an elk hair caddis head. And you'll see as I tie it, it's a nice pattern, it's getting very popular and uh, it's very good in both the rivers and locks. Now I'm going to add a small tail on this as well, so I made my bets even more. Now the hook I'm using, this is a fulling mill. It's the ultimate dry fly, it's a barbless hook, as you can see, in black nickel, um, size 14. The thread I'm going to be using is the is the uni thread, as you see, I always use the uni thread uh, mainly. In this case, is black. So the first thing I'm running through is the wax to get it. So we plenty of grip. We start at the eye, work my way down, and remove the waist piece. Then the way down, I'm going to tie in some neon floss, the uni floss, in Chinese red. You see, I'm trying to add a wee bit of wee touches to the fly. Uh, much like a red tag, if you want to call it. Red tag is very popular down there, but this is going to be like a grey version. This would be very good for, for grailing. So what I'm going to do is, on the way down, tie this in nice and tight. Come around the bench slightly. Come underneath and lock it in. You're looking around about, I would say, slightly less. Now uh, maybe a, about a third of the length of the, the shank of the hook. Trim that away. Wax my thread again, and then take it back up. I said all the way back up until I'm about, say, a mill and a half or so from the eye. Now I've got, I could use a quite a few deer hair for the for this. I'm using just an elk. Just is what you would use for an elk hair kind of. Now, remove it from the skin. Just twist and open out the cut end fibres at the bottom and remove any fluff. And I'm going to stack this up so you put the tips in first. This is a small stacker. Tap it on your desk. Check the stacked up nicely and that's fine. Remove it from the stacker. Same way you're going to tie it on. I'm going to tie it in this way. Now, just tail length you're looking just slightly by the floss in this case. Now keeping deer hair on top, come around with a couple of turns, reasonably loose, and then tighten up and then work your way down, controlling the turns you're doing and keeping the deer hair on the top. Just work your way to the back, right until the point you reach the tail. fine. As long as you can see the tail underneath, see so watch just to see. There's only one or two fibres there, but that's okay. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to trim the D here at the top. Same way I would trim a card, an elk hair card is. Now I'm going to use a, a grizzle saddle. Use a other hack, use a brown hackle if you want more of uh, more of a red tag, which will be certainly worth doing. Now, I don't want it too long, just remove some of the fibres to reveal the stem. Now, what I'm going to do here is come up about halfway, tying in that stem, and come back down, tying in some natural peacock herald. Two strands. Tie them in by the tip and line them up, tie these in on the way back down and then bring the thread back up to the top. I'm going to wind the peacock kettle towards myself. I'm going to use the hackle as a rib, obviously, and this will help hold everything together. See the time you do this. Oops.
across your thread a couple of times, just go across the pearl and then one on the hook. Trim away the excess. Now as you wind the hackle up, you want the inside of the hackle to face towards the eye so you get the natural curve going up. And then just basically rub the fly all the way up. Catch it in. Now what you can do you can basically run the thread, you could run the thread down the body and back up, which will protect it. I mean I'll show you, you could just quickly take it down, open turns, come back up. And this will secure in the hackle fibers, make everything secure. But I've found that this, these are these hackles are nice and strong. So basically just tie this off as normal. Two or three turns, bring your thread to the front. Just lift the, the D here, run the two or three turns, and then what finish. Just ignore the hackle at this point. Trim away the thread. Trim away the hackle. Now, what I would suggest is that to keep the hackle full, meaning as it is at this point, uh, fish it like that. If you feel it's not presenting itself nice to the fish, you can tr what you normally do, trim underneath. And I'll, I'll trim underneath so you can see what it looks like. But basically, you just come underneath, trim, straight cut, and, uh, and that there is towards the original caddis pattern. And then all we have to do to be a bit of varnish. Just into the head here, just so that it lasts that a wee bit longer. Just make sure the eye is clean. I use my double needle to do this. And there we are. Now, as I say, I'm only I'm combining like the Griffiths knot with the direct caddis. And uh, Adding a wee tag on it as well, as I say, there's one or two fibres there, you could actually trim them away so that you can see the tag, or the tail, sorry. And there we are. So, quite simple to tie. You can fill your box quite quick. Sizes I'm tying, mainly 14s uh, and 16s. So, I hope you enjoyed that.